What it do, Niner fam, and the rest of you NFL cats. Now, as y'all see in the draft, the Niners secretly putting together something real nice. And as I've been listening to other people's lives, man, it's super funny. It's super funny. They and I look, look. I, that's why I said I was gonna go live, but I see other people's lives and everybody on there. Oh, going to the Super Bowl. Oh, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do that. I'm, I'm thinking you needed some some guys from college to literally make your team better. You let me tell you something. We we was already Super Bowl ready before before the draft. We was already Super Bowl ready. You know what I'm saying, if anything, we just needed uh, Hufanga to be healthy. Remember, he didn't play. Drake Greenlaw, remember, uh, that's the only reason Kelsey started catching these passes because he got hurt. See? And, and, and we needed some unbiased referees. That's another story, though. So, free uh, when we got uh, um, the free agents that bolstered us, that got us, you know, that bolstered, that gave us some depth, some more hitters on the edge. You know what I'm saying? More linebackers. Like I said, it's more. It's not that we need it. No, we need. And our offensive line wasn't even all that and got us to the Super Bowl. Look, 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 look. I want you to understand. <laughs> That's the low ceiling for our offensive line was the Super Bowl. So when you see people, and I understand everybody's supposed to be happy. It's your team. You're supposed to be happy. Uh, you know, everybody going to the Super Bowl. Everybody's 0-0. Zero, zero. Everybody going to the Super Bowl. So, but but I'm thinking like this. For many years, the Niners was like, man, if we just had a quarterback, if we just had a quarterback, then when we do get our quarterback for a full season, the problem that I said what, what we might have is he didn't have an offseason. He was rehabilitating. That's the problem. I said, I would say that was going to be the only problem I had with coming into last season was I got a quarterback who's coming off a surgery off of his throwing arm. So that should be the, the decline. Now, if his decline, wait a minute. If my quarterback, Brock Purdy, decline, his decline is best quarterback rating, uh, pro bowl, he broke some records, broke John Montana's record, uh, uh, playoff, Super Bowl. If that's, his, if that's the bottom... He, finished, he got a whole offseason, a full offseason. And guess what? They went and got him another weapon. See, everybody here was waiting for Ayuk or Debo or somebody to be going. No, 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 no. We just got hit us. You, who are you going to cover now? Who are you going to cover now? And then they probably said, well, we can cover uh, 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 Debo and Ayuk and, and, and we just get somebody to cover the rookie. Who going to cover? Who going to cover Kittle? Your your linebacker, okay. Who gonna cover CMC? What about Hughes check? Then when you got all that covered, because I remember, I remember clearly, I remember clearly in the playoffs they had everybody covered, but then Brock Purdy ran. You see, you see, I like I said, I don't want to go get too much in depth about what's gonna happen. Know that I hear you all. I don't forget nothing, and I'm going to be on your helmet. Like I said, week one, I know you're saying, yeah, well, week one, yeah, yeah, okay. I want them to piece that schedule together because you got to remember, people look, we, when we're on your schedule, be afraid. Be very afraid. See, it's cats there. Oh, we got to play the Niners? Yeah, that's going to be a win. Okay, okay, okay. Be very afraid. You know what I'm saying? And then the depth, we got so much depth. First round pick is good. Second round pick is good. Third round. Like I said, the Niners all around, and we know how to put them in situations for them to thrive. Nine again. NFL fam. Watch and see. Watch and see. See, I'm just, I, hey, 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 hey. I'm just telling you how it is. I'm telling you what I see. So it's all good. It's all good. We about to see what's cracking. I'm going to drop some more highlights uh, of all of our um, draft picks to let you know we ain't just got no running. Them. And everybody draft picks can do a little something. But do you have the team to go with them? Don't just have one guy who's balling because as a rookie, you got to remember, if you got a rookie out there, 
And you're like, all right, I'm going to start that rookie. That's all. I'm going to start him, and he's going to do everything. All right, I remember Colts. The Colts had their quarterback. They uh, they rookie quarter. We played four games, and that was it. That was yeah, that was it. That, didn't, that was it. Don't think that you're going to put some of these rookies Again, on this on these offensive line against some of these vets. I'm just saying, man, it take a year or two. See, people think, oh, Jordan Love. And Jordan Love sat down, what was he on the bench for four or five years, whatever it was, and still got smoked by Mr. Irrelevant. That's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. That's crazy. Jared Goff. Goff was balling. Remember, Jared Goff was balling. What happened? What happened? Oh, they was beating them. Well, then why would you let them come back from a 17-point deficit, the most ever in a playoff victory? See, so when I see that, you know, I don't, I'm not bragging. I, we know it. It's not a gang. We, we, that's not, it's not for me to brag, man. It's just to let you know that it's coming. It's coming, man. We'll be back in the bowl. So you got to remember, people was hating so bad last year, they had to wait all the way until overtime in the Super Bowl to say, aha, I told you. Hold on, listen. We went through 17 regular season games. Then we went through preseason, I mean, pl uh, playoffs. And then we went to the to Super Bowl, and they waited. The haters was waiting the whole time to say, ha. Ah. <laughs> Way too funny. I blame the public school system. I do. I do. Because they don't have an understanding about what's about to happen. So I'm going to let y'all go, man. I'm going to let y'all, you know, bask in, well, they're basking your glory, whatever little, you know, the, the rookies y'all got. Hey, enjoy them. Enjoy them. I'm saying but when you run against these Niners, we're gonna show them you're a rookie, homie. I'm saying so. Go and enjoy yourself. You know what it is. It's not a gang, man. All day.